Hey, I'm Ben Wright, and welcome to Bluegrass Banjo for Guitar Players. The transition from guitar to banjo was actually pretty simple. Knowing how to read guitar chords off of somebody that's playing guitar uh, really helped me immediately jump into jam situations once I learned a handful of chords on the banjo. Uh, and then I learned some right hand techniques and found that pretty, pretty quickly I was, I was jamming with the big boys. When you play the, the banjo after playing the guitar, you, you realize that there's a lot of correlation between the two. You're, you're following the same chord progressions and you know, you're playing the same genre of music, so the rhythm is all the same. Uh, it's just a matter of transposing it to the other instrument and, and really kind of working what you already know on the guitar into the banjo and adding the techniques that are, that are unique to the banjo into that and, and working really hard at them. In this course, I teach a lot of basic roles, a lot of basic right hand techniques. You really need to have these basic roles and, and, and left hand techniques that we go over as a foundation before you can move on to the more complex stuff. And you need to spend a lot of time on it. I spent my first few years just playing with people with these techniques and it was, it was imperative to my future with the instrument. I really want a guitar player to take this course and feel like within the first 20 minutes of their playing, they're already able to play along with several tunes and tunes that they know and tunes that I know and, and realize that, that this is not the, the hardest thing in the world to do and that it's, it's something you could pick up really quickly and start jamming immediately. Follow that chord progression. I teach you a simple right hand chop technique that's rhythmic three chords and a couple of tunes that you can start playing immediately and you realize that it's just not that difficult of an instrument to play. After you get those very basics down, we start focusing more on the right hand, which is the, the kind of the crux of this instrument. You really need to master these kind of roles and then you get to the point where you can start mixing them together and it starts making these chord progressions that are very simple, uh, sound really cool and very banjo-y just right off the bat. I'll teach you a very simple four note roll that's just really easy to pick up. After the four note roll, we move on to an alternating thumb roll, which is a tiny variation on that, and really a roll that, that even more advanced banjo players use all the time. After the alternating thumb roll, we move on to the forward roll, and the forward roll is absolutely the foundation of good bluegrass banjo playing. And if you, if you worked on the other two rolls, you're going to pick up the forward roll really quickly and start feeling like you're really playing the banjo. After the forward roll, we move on to the forward reverse roll, which is actually a lot easier than the forward roll and just adds some variety to your playing and, and gives you some options to use when you're, when you're picking with other people. After you learn those four roles, you're gonna find really quickly that you're, you're armed with enough techniques to really play with some variety and play pretty much any tune you want to in the bluegrass repertoire. In the chord vocabulary section of this course, I'll show you movable chord shapes that allow you to play major, minor, and seventh chords all up and down the neck, which will enable you to play pretty much any song in any key that you want to. They're all movable. I can move this one up to an F minor and then move it back. In the last section of this course, we take both the right hand and the left hand techniques that we've been working on and apply them to 12 of the very most popular bluegrass tunes out there. We'll be working with play-alongs throughout this entire course for the right hand techniques, the left hand techniques, and the 12 songs that we'll play together at the end. I'll run a rhythm track and then I'll demonstrate the part for you. Then you'll get a chance to play the part over that same rhythm track. During those song play-alongs, I'll actually demonstrate all the techniques that we worked on on the right hand, and you can pick and choose which ones suit you the best. Here's the forward roll. You get charts, tabs, and tons of play-alongs to make this really easy and enjoyable. You'll also get all the rhythm tracks without me playing on them so you can practice them by yourself. That's enough talk. Grab your banjo and let's play some bluegrass.